Hey guys, welcome back to Sherry Proof. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we have another video in our sunscreen series. But in today's video, I'm going to be comparing two sunscreens from a very popular brand, and that's Color Science. If you are interested in hearing my thoughts on these, definitely keep on watching. The two sunscreens I have today from Color Science are both from the Total Protection Face Shield line, but one is the matte and one is the flex in my skin tone. I purchased both of these some weeks ago and I have been testing them out. And today I want to share my thoughts with you and I definitely want to hear your feedback if you've tried these. So before we get into the differences between both sunscreens because trust me there are some significant differences I want to cover what is common between them. So both of these are actually mineral sunscreens. The main filter in here is zinc oxide and in both of them it is at 12% and you will get from both of them SPF 50 and a PA rating of four pluses which means that this has both very high UVA and UVB coverage. Both sunscreens are water resistant for up to 40 minutes and the brand advertises that there is a special technology in these sunscreens that protect the skin from blue light, from infrared radiation, pollution and regular UVA and UVB. So let me start first with the face shield matte and of course I want to go through what the claims of the sunscreen are and then I will give you my thoughts. So they say that this particular one is formulated for oily and blemish prone skin which will be aka me. They do have a couple options on their website that will be for other skin types probably more normal or dry skin. Now this is a tinted sunscreen and they describe it as a lightweight formula that absorbs excess oil, blurs the appearance of pores and leaves the skin shine free. It is tinted with an iron oxide blend for additional blue light de defense and they say that it blends in shea. So a lot of claims for a mineral sunscreen, right? Now interestingly is that this particular sunscreen is recommended for medium to deep skin tones and they also say that it will give sheer coverage and as we heard before it is expected to give you a matte finish. Now looking at the bottle I actually find it to be quite attractive. I love the silver cap. I love the color of the sunscreen bottle as well. These actually have 55 ml so just 5 ml more than you would find in most of the sunscreens that I've been reviewing so far. It does have this screw off cap and you will see what the consistency of this looks like. There is barely any scent. It's basically like a sunscreen type of smell. No type of fragrance or anything like that. So as you will see, this sunscreen has a slight tint to it. It dispenses as a creamy texture and I thought that would be easy to apply. But this particular sunscreen requires some muscle, at least for me and in my experience. The moisturizer that you use under the sunscreen is going to make a world of difference when it comes to the application. I literally have to rub this and rub this and rub this and it takes me a good three to four minutes to rub this in in terms of getting my whole quarter teaspoon this is a sunscreen especially with mineral sunscreens as i've recommended before you definitely want to apply it in layers i did two layers in this demo but really and truly when i'm applying this I actually do it in three just to make it a little bit easier but that also means that the application process is actually longer now remember they are promising a matte finish and i could absolutely see that when i apply it on my skin and that means that i cannot use my more matte more moisturizers I actually need to use something that's a little bit more hydrating something with a little bit of slip or not let my moisturizer fully sink into my skin before I start working with this because then this is going to feel like it's pulling on my skin it sets really quickly and it is a little bit harder to move but after all that rubbing in this does leave a slight white cast on my skin it actually looks more like I'm wearing a foundation or a tinted moisturizer that might be a shade that's a little too light for my skin tone but then after about half an hour, this thing settles completely on my skin. Like I have to look really, really close. Well, except for the hairline because that usually gives it away, right? But I have to look really, really close to see that I'm actually wearing a mineral sunscreen. It sets matte on my skin. I love how it wears except for the areas where there might be creasing. And that's where I'll actually see that I'm wearing sunscreen, especially, for example, in my eyelids and around the areas of my nose. I do like how this sunscreen wears, especially on my oily skin. So if you are combination to oily, you might be able to use this sunscreen if you are normal to dry. This is definitely would not the one for you. I would recommend that you go on Color Science's website to check the option in this range that they have for your skin type because this is definitely going to give you some oil control. 
I can also appreciate the fact that you do get a little bit of coverage with the sunscreen, which just makes the skin look a little bit nicer. Now, although they recommend this for people with medium to deep skin tones, I really don't see how someone that is actually deeper than my skin tone is going to get away with this as their sunscreen without actually putting something on top or avoiding that tinge that looks like you're wearing something that's a little bit lighter than your complexion because it does show on me initially, although it settles, I'm not sure that it's going to settle in that way on somebody of a deeper skin tone. So let's move to the next one. And the other one is the Face Shield Flex. And this one is a little bit different. The color of the cap is what? Rose gold bronze. Whereas the previous one, the matte, is a silver cap. So I can actually tell them apart. This one, as I mentioned, is also another mineral sunscreen from their line. But it is described as a lightweight mineral sunscreen with a tinted color coverage immediately evening your skin tone for a flawless look. They say that it is hydrating and it has a really antioxidant rich formula like the other and it has similar technology in terms of the protection from infrared radiation, blue light, pollution and your UVA and UVB rays. What makes Flex a little bit different is that there is a particular technology that they use where the iron oxides bloom in your fingertips and the color adapts to your skin tone. This one offers buildable coverage. They say that it's going to give you a demi matte natural finish on the skin. And there are four flexible shades. Now I have the third shade in the line. So this is the second deepest shade. So after this, there's one that's actually deeper. The brand actually recommends that if you are not sure about your shade based on the pictures and so on that they have to choose the lighter shade. And they say that that's going to work for you. So the bottle has a very similar design, a screw off cap very similar scent it just smells like sunscreen <laughs> nothing else there but let's get into my thoughts on this one this sunscreen starts off white and like they say as you blend it within your fingertips the color starts to change it literally adapts to your skin tone i find that to be so cool because i remember when i was applying this for the first time i was amazed because when they say it is flexible it is flexible I could immediately see it transforming before my eyes almost looking like if I was applying a foundation on my skin. The coverage as well that you see on the skin is immediate. This might be buildable coverage, but I get a solid medium coverage with this sunscreen. By the time I apply my full quarter teaspoon of sunscreen, this looks like a foundation on my skin and I have excellent coverage. I absolutely don't get sunscreen vibes with this product. But then that's one of the issues that I have because it feels like foundation on my skin. It doesn't feel like sunscreen. I can feel it and on me it feels a little bit heavy. Now I thought when I just applied it the first time that maybe it will settle after a few minutes, that it will get better, but that feeling continued and it never got better. The other thing is that this doesn't set down completely on my skin. It remains tacky. If I touch my face, it comes off on my skin. If I put my phone on my face, it comes off on my phone. That is a little bit too messy for me. And one of the things that you will realize is that after you rub this into your skin, you need to go wash your hands because you can see a tint almost like foundation or BB cream or CC cream on your hands. As I mentioned, that tackiness, the other thing that did not work out for me was that claim that this is like a demi matte finish and it doesn't look demi matte on me at all. It could just be me. It could just be my skin being finicky with this product, but it was dewy like it looked more dewy on my skin. Now, mind you, I don't necessarily have a problem with a sunscreen looking dewy or maybe a more dewy looking foundation because I figure, okay, there are ways that I can deal with that. So what that meant is when I apply the sunscreen, if I want to get rid of that dewiness and tackiness, I have to set this with a translucent powder. So this is a sunscreen that will double kind of like a BB cream for me. It's not going to be the sunscreen that I will grab just every day just for wearing its sake because I really don't want to have to be setting my face. I don't want to have transfer of products on everything that my face touches. That just doesn't make sense to me. But then it doesn't really get better because in all my wear tests of the sunscreen, even though I set it, I feel like it still doesn't really set like i don't know how to explain this my oils just come through really fast like i will set it now and i figure okay this looks okay and i could deal with it and 15 minutes later i feel like my skin is looking dewy all over again i don't know why because that doesn't happen necessarily when i use dewy foundations it will take a little while i don't know if i need to use primer i need to do setting spray but i shouldn't have to work so hard with a sunscreen but i am telling you if you want to use this as a foundation i figure you could really do that because that's the vibe it gives me like when i put this on it looks like i'm wearing makeup so perhaps for the people that might be more normal to dry skin, probably instead of getting a BB cream, you could probably get this because this is going to double as your SPF 
and your coverage or complexion product as well. Something I forgot to mention is the price of these because these are not cheap. The Flex one actually retails for 45 US dollars on Color Science's website and the Face Shield Matte retails for 39 US dollars. So just a slight difference in price. So my final thoughts on these sunscreens. First of all, I'm glad that I was able to finally purchase them. Quite a few people asked me for my thoughts on these particular sunscreens. So here we are. Second of all, I need a combination of these. That might be too much to ask and Color Science may never see this video, but I'm wondering if I'm the only person with this opinion, especially for somebody with oily skin. So I actually prefer the finish and the wear of the facial matte in terms of how well it holds up my oils and how it stays on my skin. It really does give me a matte to more natural matte finish and it really does control my oils well when I wear the sunscreen. I don't like the finish of this but I love the coverage. I love the flexibility, this lovely technology that they have so that a mineral sunscreen will actually tone adapt to my skin. I love that. That's an amazing feature. And I guess that's the technology that you're paying for when you do pick up the sunscreen. So honestly, I would prefer to have a combination of these two. Give me the matteness of this. Give me the coverage of this. And then I'll have the perfect mineral sunscreen. Now, something that Color Science actually does encourage on their website is actually mixing and matching their sunscreen formulas. Very, very interesting because you don't really see that recommended a lot. So maybe I could probably try one layer of one and one layer of the other. I actually haven't tried that yet, but I'm thinking I might do that to use them out. But I would not repurchase these because neither of them are my ideal mineral sunscreen. They come close though and they are really good offerings. And if any of the features that I mentioned appeal to you, then you could probably take a look at it take a chance when there's probably a sale so you could get a discount off to try it it might be the mineral sunscreen that you're looking for because i know that there are people who really just need mineral sunscreens i hope today's video was helpful for you i'd like to hear in the comments down below if you've tried any of these or if any of these interest you which one you'd want to try have you checked out the other sunscreens in this range from color science i'll see you guys in another video soon take care bye